like a hell cut. <laughs> Hello friends, today our topic is differential amplifier. So basically DVO means dual input balanced output. So this is the circuit of differential amplifier. You can note the inputs are VD, VD by 2 minus VD by 2. Here we have one DC voltage, the upper voltage is ground. We have two resistance, alright. We have one output, so this is the balanced output dual input. And this resistance are RS. Now in this video we will see how to find the DC analysis to get the value of IB, IC, GM and R pi. First step we will do this then we will go for the AC analysis to find the differential gain then we will also find the common mode gain then we will find CMRR we will also find input resistance and output resistance. So let's start. Now the first point is DC analysis. So to do DC analysis, we will require the circuit. So let's see that. You can note that if we break this circuit from the middle, right, you can see that RC and RC are separated. So we can take this portion of the circuit because we have two BJT and we will require only one BJT to do the DC analysis. So let's take this portion. What will happen? See RC is different. So we can use that directly. Similarly, RS is different, we can use that directly. But when we talk about RE, there is a problem. So let's see that. So we have RS, we have RC, and this is ground. So there is no problem here. RC, RS, we can use. This input is VD by 2. That also we can use. But here you have to note. If we break this circuit, then what will be the change here? See, we have voltage that is... Now this are so the voltage here is VEE -E, right the voltage here is VBE -E, okay the resistance here is a problem so let's see when we break this circuit we will have two resistance in parallel all right we have to understand that if we break this RE we will get two resistance for this circuit we will have one RE for this res uh, for this circuit we will have one RE because we are breaking from the middle so we have two BJT we have two circuit so what will be the value here suppose if I write twice of RE now they are in parallel right now all right now if we club them to one we will get RE and so is the resistance here so if we have to break this RE resistance it should have the value of two RE now why 2RE because we have one circuit at the left hand side one circuit at the right hand side now if we combine them both the separated circuit if we combine that we will get this circuit and this circuit has the value RE so this circuit has the value RE so the if we break this then individual resistance should be 2RE so this circuit will have 2RE so let's say I have taken this circuit of the left hand side so it will have 2RE similarly for the right hand side circuit it will have 2RE so the twice RE concept is clear. So this was the first step. Second step is to apply DC analysis. So to get the value of IB, we have to apply KVL in the base loop. Now you can note that the current flowing, I have one trick to find IB. Now basically you can apply KVL and find the answer. You have to note that this is the analog voltage. So while applying KVL, this voltage will not be present. So apply KVL, you will get the value. I have some trick, better way to do this. So what you can do is you, you need IB, I is always equal to V by R. Now in the upper side you have to write voltage. So what will be the voltage? Let's see. First you note that we have the VBE. So taking the second sign minus VBE. Then we have VEE. Taking the second sign plus VEE. So voltage part is clear. Now we have to write the resistance at the denominator. So in denominator we will have first resistance as RS. right? then we will go forward we will note that ie current flows here at the lower side with respect to twice re so we will have twice re but also we will have one plus beta factor because ie current is flowing and we are writing equation for ib so this one plus beta factor is because of that so this is the value of ib after that it is very simple ic is beta times ib 
right then we will have fourth point that is uh, r pi r pi is vt by iv vt value is 26 into 10 raised to minus 3 upon ib then we will have gm gm is again ic by vt so we are done with dc analysis so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट